The reality is the cartels control the border. Sheriff Mark Lamb of Pinal County, Arizona, knows this. He sees it firsthand every day. He just gave Republican congressman from Wisconsin, Tom Tiffany, a guided tour of the border chaos. The both of them join me now, live from the border in Stanfield, Arizona. Sheriff, Congressman, great to have you both on the program. Congressman, let me start with you first here. Um, you surprised at what you saw down there? Mark Lamb's a pretty good tour guide. I've seen him in action before. Um, you surprised? Nobody better to see southern Arizona on the border than Sheriff Lamb. I was down here two years ago, and there was progress that was being made on the southern border. It is all gone now. We were just touring out in the desert here in Arizona this afternoon, and it is a mess. The What I believe is the biggest human trafficking operation in the history of the modern world is going on right now. All right. So, um, Sheriff, it's good to see you, my friend. Um, you heard the story about the cartels. Do the cartels control the border right now? The 70 million number we're hearing, is that legit? 100%. It's probably even more than that. You've got to figure they're charging here in Arizona five to $6,000 for everybody that comes across the border. And last month alone, they apprehended over 217,000 people. Plus, they had 66,000 gotaways. Those are the ones we know about. And that's cash that the cartels are making. So absolutely, those numbers are probably uh, that legit, if not more legit than that. And this is why it's such an issue to us, Grant. And that's why I, I, every chance I get, I talk about this. I saw a poll the other day that talked about uh, Joe Biden's disapproval ratings, and it had a whole different uh, bunch of different things like inflation and all this stuff. One of them was immigration. What I don't like about that is that misleads the American public because this is not about immigration anymore. What they should be asking is if you approve of human trafficking and drug trafficking into America. Yeah, we know that the victims in all of this really are those people that are being trafficked across the border and, and those risking their lives to get here. It's not an easy, it's not an easy trek, but with an open border, uh, it certainly is drawing them in. Um, Congressman, I want to play a soundbite from Beto O'Rourke. He's running for governor as a Democrat in Texas. This is him talking about ending Title 42. I think it's time to end Title 42. Okay. I don't think we should have ever implemented it. It's a very cynical reading of U.S. law. Congressman, is it a cynical reading of U.S. law? The thing that is preventing a completely open border, January 20th, 2021, Joe Biden opened up our border to anybody that wants to come from throughout the world. Title 42 is the only thing holding people's, people back at this point. Ed O'Rourke then talk about alternatives. He says, let's have it go away. Let's talk about alternatives because that's what we're doing. Those of us Republicans on the House Judiciary Committee, we want solutions to this. He obviously does not. Yeah. Um, you know, Sheriff, you talk about the victims being, many of those being trafficked across the border. The other victims of this, the American people. You and I have talked about the fentanyl problem here. Um, what is the common scene or the common call you get when you get a call for someone that is overdosed? Well, Grant, first of all, I like to think of it as poisonings because when a 15-year-old takes one pill and dies from it, that's not an overdose. That's a poisoning. When a cocaine addict dies because the cartel put fentanyl in that cocaine, that's a poisoning. When a baby dies because the parents were using fentanyl, that's a poisoning. We need to start calling it for what it is here in America. These are poisonings and the cartel are poisoning American civilian lives to the tune of over 100,000 people a year. When are Americans going to wake up to what the real reality of this situation here is on the southern border? We know where these drugs are coming from, yet our federal government and the media continue to turn a blind eye to it. Well, not you, Grant. I appreciate yeah. you talking about it. But, you know, the mainstream media, <laughs> they don't want to talk about this. Uh, I know exactly who you're talking about, Sheriff, and uh, we'll be holding them accountable, too. Um, Congressman, last question for you. Do you wish Kamala Harris, your other fellow Democrats in Congress, would come down and take a tour. I know Sheriff Mark Lamb would give them a tour as well. What's your message to them, Congressman? Sheriff Lamb at off that has offered tours. They can come down anytime. It is a failure of the Biden administration. Why don't they come down here? Because they know what they will see. The disaster that is the biggest human trafficking operation in the history of the modern world with the drugs, the sex trafficking, and all the rest. They don't want to see it and confront it. Zero Democrat showed up. 
It's, it's unbelievable to me that she's supposed to be our border czar and she still hasn't made a trip down there. Uh, Sheriff Mark Lamp, thank you. It's always great to see you. Congressman Tom Tiffany, I appreciate you making time for us and even headed down to the border from Wisconsin. This is uh, every state and every city in America is now a border town and a border state, unfortunately, thanks to Joe Biden. Gentlemen, thank you. And God bless. Every state is a border state. Absolutely. See you guys.